Last night's NCAA Women's College Basketball Tournament in the Elite Eight between the LSU Tigers and the Iowa Hawkeyes most presumably drew in a record number. Now, numbers haven't officially come out from a verified source, but we're most likely going to presume it's a safe presumption that it was the most watched women's college basketball game of all time especially knowing the history between lsu and iowa proceeding back to last year's national championship game with angel reese and caitlin clark angel reese doing the you can't see me to caitlin clark copying her trash talk signature move from john cena we all know the history there and it was and it lived up to the hype caitlin clark and angel reese put on a show Kayla Clark with a 41 point double double 41 points 12 assists and hitting nine threes injuries did pretty good herself too I believe she has 17 points and 12 20 rebounds so it lived up to the hype but very interesting to what injuries had to say in the post game press conference after her loss to Iowa let's take a look I just try to stand strong like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want them to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But keep being who you are keep waking up every day keep mo being motivated staying who you are staying ten toes don't back down and just be confident angel reese you are full of shit sincerely you are full of shit this would not have been the response if you won last night and beat iowa why is this all of a sudden a response after you lost now you want to say that you've been sexualized you've been dehumanized you've been having death threats sent to you after you lost if you had won last night and beat iowa the main conversation was you beat iowa twice you're going back to the final four back to back but the fact that you lost now all of a sudden you want to play victim with these crocodile tears saying that you have been happy dating back to last year's national championship win angel reese you bought a lot of that on yourself you bought a lot of that on yourself ever since you won a national championship there's been this cockiness this arrogant this you can't tell me what to do aura about her I don't know if it's the NIL money that's beginning to her head, if it's the sponsorship, the brand endorsement that she's been signing, the bag is getting to her bank account, but she has been moving with a certain cockiness and a certain uh, unhumbleness about her. The talking crazy to opponents being caught on camera. The talking crazy to your coaches being caught on camera. When you beat Caitlin Clark last year, she was humble. She took her loss with humility. She didn't talk about, oh, my God, I've been sexualized. I've been de dehumanized. I've been, you know, getting death threats and this and that. You don't think that a player, especially who's been in the public eye for a year and a half now, who's been selling out shows, selling out arenas, is a must watch box office attraction, has been getting those type of messages in her Instagram or social media DMs. Of course she has. But she don't talk about that in the wins and she hasn't talked about that in the loss. But why is all of a sudden now you're bringing up that you have been happy when you lost? You brought a lot of you brought a lot of that a attention on yourself. Remind me, wasn't it beginning a season where your own head coach had to suspend you from the team because your GPA was low? Remind me in the beginning of the season, wasn't you that requested to take classes online because your popularity had grown so much on the LSU campus, you felt unsafe to take classes in person? Angel Reese, when you're in the public eye, 
you have to watch what you say and how you conduct yourself especially where we live in an age where cameras are rolling 24 7. now individuals are their own tmz investigative reporter so you knew about this i believe you have a team surrounding you telling you hey now you get into this money now you're in the public eye be careful how you conduct yourself and you wasn't conducting yourself as a person who little girls should look up to especially on the court with the trash talking with the arrogance with the cockiness and if that does happen to her i do feel bad because mental health and these stuff happen to women like that but do not bring up that in a loss it comes across that you're playing victim because you got your ass beat because Kaylin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes outperformed you. Like I said, when Kaylin Clark lost to you guys last year, she took her loss with humility. Even went on ESPN and said, hey, you know what? She has a right to do that. She won. She's the champion. Congratulations to her. Wish her nothing but success. Cool. When Kaylin Clark would uh, beat you guys last night, did you didn't see her go out? She had every right. Kaylin Clark had every right to go and talk crazy to go and talk nothing but trash to be cocky to be bold to be arrogant getting her revenge beating you guys last night but she didn't do that she said hey lsu is a great team angel reese is a great competitor they were a very very tough team it was a very very tough game happy being the final four this is going to continue to grow women's sports especially women's college basketball she didn't take the time to say, oh, well, you know, hey, if I had lost, you know, I, this wasn't right. This wasn't cool. I've been this and that. No. So take your loss with humility, Angel Reese. You're still going to be a top five, presumably, pick in the WNBA draft. You're still having all those NILs and all those brand endorsements, all those sponsorship checks clearing in your bank account. Okay. But don't talk about this in a loss. You had plenty of time to talk about stuff that's been happening to you in wins or in social media posts or put out a piece on the player tribute, whatever the case may be. But when you talk about this in a loss, it comes across that you're playing victim. That's all I got to say about that. Let me know what you guys agree, disagree with what I said reacting to this video of injury saying that, you know, she has been happy since she won last year's NCAA championship. Do you agree with my opinion? Disagree? Please leave your comments down below. I'm open for an engagement. Don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the like button, and I will check you guys out on the flip side. Peace.